Welcome back to Amazon Rain Chicken Outdoors, presented by Mike's Archery. This episode will be part two of our South African Adventure Series, so stay tuned and we hope you enjoy. All right, good morning guys. It's uh, day three here in Africa, uh, here with Authentic African Adventures. We're getting ready to uh, head up the road a little ways. We're going to go to a little different area than we've been hunting, about uh, 10 miles, I think you said 14 kilometers away. So. We're going to load up in the Land Cruisers this morning and see what we can find. I think the plan is uh, lots of zebra and gimsbuck in the area that we're headed to. Um, possibly some other options as well. We'll just see what shows up this morning. So stay tuned. Hopefully we get some good footage this morning. We'll see what happens. Authentic African Adventures again today, uh, day three of our hunt here in South Africa. Another gorgeous day, uh, about 75, 80 degrees, and we came over here to a different part of the ranch, hoping to get into some gims, buck, and zebra, and that's exactly what took place. Uh, had to had to wait a little while. Had a lot of guinea fowl and, and lots of bird activity this morning, but uh, first thing in was uh, that we wanted to take a shot at was this gims buck. Uh, we did have a small uh, female diker come in this morning, but. Uh, looking for a, a good male on that one, but uh, we're just thrilled to have an opportunity at a Gims buck, and this is a great trophy uh, to take out of the herd. She was injured, and uh, but also still a great trophy. Uh, good long horns, and uh, just a beautiful animal. It's just amazing what you can see over here in Africa, and uh, being here with Authentic African Adventures has been a, a, just a joy and a, a great experience to, to have these trackers and uh, all these PHs over here taking care of us and putting us right in the animals, it's just making a great hunt out of it. So we appreciate everything they're doing and hopefully there's more to come. We've still got uh, three and a half more days here in Africa. So the adventure continues. Stay with us. As you can see, the trip was shaping up to be a really good one. And one of the main reasons we headed over to South Africa was for me to try to get a Cape Buffalo with my bow. 
Unfortunately, during the hunt, we had a little miscommunication between me and the PH, and we were unable to get it on film. However, this bull had an amazing backstory, and we really wanted to share it with you. So here's Hanu to tell you about it. This is a very interesting story. My boy is six years old now, and when he was he's just over a year, I was charged by a buffalo at um, one of my blinds, and was sitting grass seed, and I uh, think uh, my boy was start crying, and he had a fall in his feet. So when I pick him up, the next thing what happened, a buffalo come from nowhere and charged me. So I pick up my son, start running, but I know he doesn't gonna make it. So I took out my nine mil and I turn around and I shoot about at three, four, three to four feet, I got two shots fired off. And I this I know this is a bull because I know it was on his um on his left side where I shoot him, but blood was coming out there. I saw him three days later. This is definitely the bull I shot five years ago, which charged me when my son was on my arms. So, and I'm sure we're gonna find the bullet in here in his boss. So we'll check back in the skinning shed tonight. You know, this is amazing. This bull charged me five years ago and I shot him and he turned around. He didn't, he didn't do the full charge with him, he stopped. So he gave me time to run away with my kid in my arm. So let's see at the skinning shed what's in there. Maybe get a metal detector and see if, uh, if a round is still in his, in his boss. Thanks for watching this episode of our South African Adventure Series. In closing, we wanna leave you with a few more highlights from this trip. But be sure and stay tuned for our next episode where we'll be joined in 2018 by some more of the crew right here in South Africa.